Well, hello shooters, this time I'm going to be talking about my favorite holographic sign, I'm talking about the Holosol 510C uh, with the red dot uh, sight. One of the many uses for these kind of sights is going to be for uh, hunters, which use it in combination with their magnifiers or just their plain sight. Uh, when they combine them also with their AR-15 or shotguns for uh, fast and moving targets like wild hogs, coyotes, uh, bobcats and some others, another use for this one it's going to be for home defense, which is my main purpose. And finally, the three gun type competitions, which, in which they have to combine and score the maximum amount of points when using their pistol, AR 15, and shotguns. Among the benefits of using a holographic sight versus the old fashioned uh, metal sights, the first one you're going to have, and the most important, is going to allow you a faster target acquisition since you're going to be aiming with both eyes open. Uh, the second benefit is going to allow you a wider field of view because of the size of the uh, site itself. Another benefit is you're going to be able to uh, use a precise aiming point because this one comes with three different sites. One of them is going to be a 2MOA small dot. Uh, it's another benefit. Of course, it's going to be the, when combining several reticles, you're going to be able to apply uh, easier holdovers. And finally, the red color when you're going hunting is going to contrast when you are aiming against a green background, so you won't miss your aiming point. Or if you have a black, like dirt uh, brushes, uh, you're going to be able to aim accurately and continue uh, taking your shots. Among the features you're going to have with the Holosons HS510C. The first one is going to be that you're going to have uh, three different reticles. I'll see if I can get them on the camera. This is going to be... I'm trying, I'm trying. Try. Okay, this is the first one, which is the ring with the 2MOA dot. If you press the minus... Let's see if I get them. If you keep pressing the minus, then you get the dot for accurate shots with the magnifier. If you press it again, it's gonna come just with the ring for holdovers or for shotgun use or flo uh, close quarter uh, shooting in your home defense uh, situation. Hopefully, I pray I'll never need to use it. Then you press it again and you come back with the dot plus uh, the ring. So you're gonna have uh, three different reticles. The 2MOA uh, dot, if you use the battery life on it, it's gonna last uh, 50,000 hours. So it's approximately five years of extended use, in uninterrupted use. And the, if you're going to be using the ring plus the dot, the life use of the battery on extended use, uninterrupted use, is going to be a, approximately 2,000 hours of use, which is the equivalent of two years. The dot will be five years. The dot plus the ring will be uh, two years exclusively. However, you gotta remember that you have two uh, sources of a uh, battery. You're gonna have the uh, over here the what is it called? The solar panels over here for ambient light. That is also gonna pick ambient lights if you're in Sharia house. Uh, any of the lights are turned on, or also when you're hunting. Plus, uh, on the side, if you remove uh, these two screws. You're going to have a pulled out a tray and you can replace at any time the CR2032 battery, which is very common for the majority of the uh, firearms. Uh, another features that you get when you get the Holosons is holographic size. It's going to have the QD feature, so every time you want to take it out and put it back on, you just uh, move this arm on the side. The way you take it out, you have to press this tiny button. And that's how you can later remove the little arm on the side, otherwise you won't be able, it is not easy. And you just put it back again and you secure it to your AR-15 or your uh, favorite uh, shotgun. Another feature is going to be that, as you can see when you're uh, looking through, you're going to see like two different housings. One that the one that holds the, the glass itself and an external one. The external one it's made out of a... a alloy of, of, of titanium which is extremely hard this is the one that takes all the bouncing all the harsh all the drops all the beating uh, if you break this one you shouldn't own any firearm to me that's not even a mature person or there is something wrong with you 
Uh, this is a waterproof up to one meter. Uh, if you go on a hunt and you drop it, if it falls in a pond or in like a small uh, water, you know, hole or something, don't be worried about it. If it starts raining, don't don't worry about it. Just uh, rinse it and it's going to be good to go again. Uh, you can also use it with night vision if you are into hawk hunting at night time. You just press the minus button and you just lower uh, the brightness level. Let me see if I can find it again. Here we go. Yeah, just press it, press it, press it till it's barely undetectable. And that's the night vision configuration. You can barely see it. I believe the first two ones are the night vision configuration, depending on your eye sight and the night vision you will be uh, using. The adjustment on the top, you're going to have the, this one over here is going to be for the elevation uh, adjustment on the side. This one over here is going to be for your uh, windage correction. Uh, both are going to be adjusting half MOA, which is very common for all the holographic and dot sides. You don't, you're not going to be aiming a uh, you know, meaningful angle accuracy like if you're using a over a power magnification rifle scope. So I don't know why people really want to go a quarter MOA uh, adjustment on a close quarter uh, or hunting a uh, site. The configuration, if you're going to switch a ready call, you're going to press this minus bottom on the side. So you're gonna, it's gonna alternate from the ring, the dot, or the combination of both, which are the three available. If you, from the factory, it comes with a, a, a auto adjustment to the ambient light, uh, which I really don't uh, like it too much because it takes around five seconds to uh, adjust to the ambient light. So I mostly have it on manual. Uh, you go, you press minus or less on the side to adjust the level of brightness. If you press the plus button uh, for five seconds, it's going to shut down the automatic ambient light adjustment. If you press uh, for five seconds, uh, the minus button, you're going to switch uh, among your different uh, reticles. Uh, the parallax, the producer, they claim that it is a uh, parala parallax free. However, that's just a marketing thing. Even the EOTech. All of them below 50 yard, even a little bit more, they will, will show some sort of parallax, uh, which is like a misalignment uh, of your eye and the dot is going to be slightly moved towards the side. I'll see if I can make a video. If you guys request and make me a comment, I'll probably do one just to show what this so famous parallax is about. Uh, what else I'm forgiving? Uh, the compatible. Compa I'm sorry, comparable brands, uh, the number one, it will be the EOTech, that is the one that is used by the military, it's, it's really shockproof, bulletproof, however, the battery life on those is way less than this one. Uh, the next one will be the Vortex that I watch. I was watching on a couple of their holographic side from Vortex, however, they were the most heaviest among all of them. Uh, the next one will be the Sidemar, which is very similar to this one. Uh, however, their battery life is not as comparable to this one. And finally, the Six Hour Optics, which is a really good quality, but they were, uh, I believe, slightly more expensive than this one. Uh, the things that I do not like about this one is that so far, as of today, a uh, Holosun only makes them in khaki color, flat dark erg, peanut butter color, however you want to call them, and black. I'm a hardcore olive draft green uh, color for your firearms. I, I believe they just blend better in the forest than this one. Yeah, another thing I do not like about this one is that it, it is only a uh, compatible, uh, sorry, not compatible, a uh, water resistant to one meter. If you ever drop it in a river or something, you are done. That might be the main reason this is not uh, within the militaries. I'm not planning on going diving 33 feet or something with like a Neotech or something that will withstand 33 feet of death. Absolutely, this is a home defense and like hunting or a target shooting, you know. But uh, at least I was expecting like 5 meter, 5, 10 meters of a water resistance, but it's only 1 meter. And finally, the other thing that I do not like about this one is that if you are ever a... a on the other side of the hollow side, if you are like a home invasion situation, you got to be careful because uh, this is reflective. If you can see this dot up to 10 meters away from you, however, if you are whatever is capable of seeing you at 10 meters, you better defend yourself in a home invasion on a wild hog who is about to charge you 
So keep that in consideration. Uh, my final advice, you don't need to put a front side or rear side, metal side, emergency side. This is a titanium cover. This is extremely reliable and dependable. Uh, this is proof. Uh, when you add the rear sights on your AR-15 rifle, uh, you're going to be pulling and uh, moving forward your uh, magnifier and then as a consequence you're going to be moving forward your holographic sight. When you move forward your magnifier, then your eye relief is going to be completely off uh, what they are designed for. If you don't know what eye relief is, uh, watch one of my uh, binoculars. So I talk about eye relief and uh, dilation and other concepts. Uh, another thing, uh, don't put it so close to your eyes. It is really a. Uh, this is a. The eye relief for this one, for the sight itself, it's just uh, infinite. You don't have to put it right in your eyes. Even some people, they put it as uh, further uh, on the barrel as possible so that it helps with the recoil man management, the recoil all the way. Alrighty shooters, this is all I got to present for you today. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share among your friends. Uh, if you have any questions, something that was not clearly explained, please leave your comments uh, below. Uh, you all have a wonderful day.